In this episode, following COVID travel restrictions in Senegal being lifted, we fly to Dakar in order to set up our local company, meet with project partners and spend time with our team on the ground. The electrification of 120 rural villages in Senegal is a go. The journey has begun to Dakar. I am in Überling in Germany right now. Super excited to see what's gonna happen. So I'm waiting to board the plane to uh, Lisbon, Portugal, where I meet Alan and we fly on from there to Senegal. So um, I just arrived in Dakar. We've been picked up from the airport and drove an hour through country and then the outskirts of Dakar. Um, it's 3.30 in the morning and 5.30 in Germany and I basically haven't slept all night. I'm super tired and absolutely overwhelmed with new impressions and smells and uh, yeah craziness you know drive down the road and there are just 10 cows passing in the middle of the night and people sitting on the street and lots of shops and restaurants and fast food takeout still open and it's yeah crazy impressions I will report more tomorrow when it's day and I'm not super super tired. We are getting up and ready to set up a company and meet the notary, meet the first time our new operations manager here on the ground, meet my new neighbor. Our first stop was to the notary to set up a Senegalese company, which is necessary due to our plans to build a permanent office in West Africa. We stopped off at a restaurant in Hotel La Madrag in Ingor, on the northern coast of Dakar for some lunch before heading off for a meeting at the offices of Gulf Engineering, who together with the Senegalese Rural Electrification Agency, ASER, are managing this project. So we just had our first meeting at Gulf, which went really well. Um... We had very good uh, conversations about the project and met all the people that are um, did the site surveys and know the towns really well and could give us really good advice. And Stefan just drove us to the beach here and yeah, more to come. So we're on our way through Dakar right now. We are trying to find a bank or an ATM that has enough cash to actually give that to us. It's uh, quite an experience. Okay, uh, and, and, yeah. so, and once we have the money, we go to the notary, pay that in, and there we go. Our company set up Offboard Europe. Senegal is on the way. <laughs> so after um, two banks and probably eight cards, we managed to get enough money to uh, bring to the notary and um, to set up the company. After signing all the paperwork and meeting up with another potential partner nearby, we went out for lunch at a nice restaurant on the beach, which was cut short following a battery issue with the car. After a mechanic arrived on a moped with another battery to jump start the car, we are on our way again to meet with Gulf Engineering for a further meeting to discuss logistics. So we just had a meeting at Gulf now and we are back on trying to jump start car. So we have been discussing a truck import for the last how many hours? For the last three days. Or weeks. <laughs> okay. Months. Uh, Stefan has only been introduced to this topic for what? One week now and he's already fed up? 
we've been discussing it for what? At least at least two months. Probably six months, I'd say. You know Mark will kill you. We've been discussing <laughs> it for the last ten months. <laughs> <laughs> And I think we're finally getting to the point where we come to agreement, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do it. Gonna make Yay! In the next episode, the relentless pace of our short trip to Dakar continues, but with more karate. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for further off-grid Europe developments.